Am I the asshole for letting my brother call me dad and refusing to tell him the ugly truth? I was born when my parents were both 19, and my only brother, let's call him Josh, was born when they were 42. They divorced shortly after Josh was introduced into the world. He was four months old at the time, and they both wanted nothing to do with the child. At the time, I was 23, and I was living alone with my then-girlfriend, who was 21, now my wife. And I'd done my best to convince at least one of them to take care of young Josh for his sake and the family's sake. They refused adamantly and said that I should be taking custody of him instead. So, I became the legal guardian of my brother, and he's been living with us for the past 12 years. Things have been going really smoothly for us. Josh, now almost 13, has been calling me dad and my wife mom, and our two children, four female, nine male, his siblings, and he has absolutely no idea about his real parents. And to be honest, I let all of that slide. He has no idea that I'm really his blood brother and not his father, and I'm starting to feel guilty and a little weird. Some of my uncles and aunts come to visit occasionally, and they are really disgusted at the fact that he calls me dad, and they are surprised that I haven't told him the truth. They constantly message me, talk to me in private, and I cannot chat to them without this one particular topic rising up, badgering me to let him know already, but I refused. I discussed this with my wife, and she thought it would be wrong to tell him the truth because none of my parents wanted to take care of him, and I'm the only person in the world who gave him the father figure everyone deserves. I feel that he has the right to know what he is to me, and I truly am to him. But he's suffered enough already, and I just want things to continue how it is. This week's secret comes from listener Amy. To put it simply, my secret is I think my partner Caleb (gasps) might be a psychopath. I've always noticed odd things Caleb does and says, but it wasn't until I started my university course where we explored psychopathic traits and tendencies that it clicked. Caleb's approach to life constitutes that of a psychopath. One day after class, I had him complete an online psychology quiz and it returned a result that fell firmly within the psychopath territory. When I showed him his results, he simply laughed them off. In all my years with Caleb, I've barely seen him express emotion. I've never once seen him cry. He also cannot comprehend why certain things make other people upset. If I am hurt by something that happened at work or with my friends, he is at a loss as to why it's affecting me. Caleb is also extremely impulsive. He'll do random things without any forethought and can sometimes make huge decisions like quitting a job or making an expensive purchase without any consideration of the consequences. On top of this, Caleb hates rules and rails against authority whenever he can. He totally disregards basic everyday rules like speed limits and seat belts. If there's a rule, his first instinct is to violate it. This makes me uncomfortable because I hate rule breaking with a passion. He also lacks a moral and ethical compass, or at least cares very little for things like climate change and social justice. When I question his apathy, he simply replies, I just don't care about those things. (sighs) Above all, though, I've witnessed a manipulative streak in him that's becoming difficult to ignore. He works from home, so I hear him talking with colleagues all day long, and the way he can turn his charm on and off is unlike anyone else I know. He can go from being completely warm to one co-worker to utterly ice cold to the next. I describe it like watching two completely different people within one body. I've also witnessed firsthand how comfortable Caleb is with lying. He lies all the time about little things. On one phone call, he'll say something that contradicts what he says in the next call. Often, it's stuff that doesn't even need to be lied about. So much of it is completely pointless. I think it's bizarre, but then I think a lot of people are like that. In the more serious circumstances, I have seen him lie about things to manipulate the person he's talking to. This will also sound terrible, but he's very nonchalant about stepping on people to get exactly what he wants at work. If he needs to push someone down to get a pay rise or a promotion, he'll do it in a heartbeat. In that way, he's extremely self-interested and entitled. He truly believes that he is more deserving of certain privileges and feels no remorse for doing what is necessary to claim them. Despite all of this, though, Caleb is a wonderful partner to me. He's very loving and funny. He's very goal-driven, and we are in a very happy, normal relationship. He's never cheated on me. He's not violent at all, which I know can come with psychopathy. And while he lies all the time to others, I am very confident that he is truthful and honest with me. I love Caleb immensely, and I've never once felt unsafe at all in our relationship. We've been together for four years, and I have every intention of staying with him. 
a lot of these tendencies are not directed at me and if they were, I would have a relationship with him. Am I the asshole for being pissed off at my girlfriend for licking all the Oreos? This is so stupid. We mostly get along great, but this one issue is driving me fucking crazy. Yesterday, I went to get myself a couple of Oreos and I noticed that they looked like they were taken apart and put back together. The cream was smeared slash gone from a couple. My girlfriend confirmed that she licked every single one of them and put them back in the box. She kept saying, eat your chocolate chips. But that's not the point. It's not hygienic having licked food just laying around the house like that. It's just gross. Today, she's doubling down. When the groceries came, she opened the chips in front of me, licked one of them all over, like just slobbered all over it, then put it back in the bag and shook it up. Now I can't eat any of them because I don't know which ones have spit on them. Girlfriend says I'm the asshole for not letting this go, but I can't. It's so gross. That's bizarre. My fiance and I are getting married. We've decided wedding's gonna be child free. My brother, Chris, and his wife have a three year old son who everyone calls Miracle or Rainbow Baby. When they found out that my nephew was included in the no children rule, they tried to convince me to make an exception for him. Chris told me his son is a Miracle Baby and his presence at the wedding will bring blessings. I refused and said, no, the wedding is child free. He asked again and pointed out how his baby is different since he's a rainbow, a miracle baby. I again said no and explained that the wedding is child free. They brought it up when they visited at my home and I knew they weren't going to stop. So I'd made flashcards in advance with the phrase, the wedding is child free period. They both were stunned. I asked if they get it now and Chris had lost his ish. Me and my boyfriend have been dating for nearly a year and a half now. Tomorrow he's coming to Thanksgiving dinner at my dad's house and meeting my family for the first time. This afternoon he asked if his roommate could come too. I was caught off guard and said no. I barely know his roommate but he's military and will not be able to be with his own family for the holiday which is why my boyfriend asked. I understand and appreciate his compassion and kindness, but I need this event to be just him, me, and my family without his buddy who is a stranger to me. I asked if he's still coming, and he said yes. Then I asked if he's okay, and he said no, but that he will be. I told him to reach out to me when he's ready and that I understand if he doesn't want to talk to me right now, so I haven't heard from him since the phone call a couple of hours ago. I feel like a massive a-hole, but this is one of the rare events where I've put my foot down in this relationship and refused to accommodate his wants. My wife and I were invited to my brother's 31st birthday. Later, my brother went to use the bathroom, then came back looking pissed. He kept giving me and my wife looks, but I didn't know what was going on till he pulled me aside before we left and told me that my wife had left her used pad in his bathroom. I was shocked and didn't know what to say because this felt highly inappropriate. He said he didn't appreciate what my wife did and that it was a sign of disrespect towards him. We got in the car and I asked my wife about it. She nonchalantly said there was nothing wrong with what she did and that my brother was being ridiculous. I kind of flipped and told her it was very inappropriate for her to leave her used pad in his place even if it was in the bathroom and in the trash can because it made him uncomfortable. She yelled asking what she was supposed to do and I told her she could have took it with her and threw it outside not in his bathroom. That's my brother's place and he told me how he felt about it. She yelled at me calling my brother an incel and me an a-hole for getting in her face about it. I was invited to my sister's 18th birthday a few days ago at a restaurant. My husband didn't come because he said he had a meeting dinner with some clients. To my surprise when I arrived, I noticed that my husband was having his meeting at the same place. I waved for him and he saw me but ignored me. I got up and walked to his table. I stood there and said, excuse me, my husband was silent when I asked if he'd take a few minutes to join me and the family in candle blowing, but he barely let out a phrase and said, I don't think so, I'm busy right now. I insisted saying it just take a couple of minutes and that it means so much to my sister. He stared at me, then stared awkwardly back at his clients. They said nothing and he got up after my parents were motioning for me to hurry up. 
He sat with us while my sister blew the candles and cut the cake. My parents insisted he takes a piece and join us in the selfie, but he got up and walked back to his table looking pissed.